into rigging safety in construction environments, an interactive training program. This course is available with closed captioning. Would you like to enable closed captioning? At the end of this course, you will be able to recognize various types of rigging equipment, understand the major techniques that are used to attach loads to crane hooks, and know how to assist crane operators to help them move loads safely. Press the forward hand to begin the introduction to rigging safety. Tom, you can't use the basket hitch, all right? You gotta use the choker, otherwise we're gonna fall out all over the place. I'm not gonna be the operator if you're gonna do it like this. Don't tell me what to do, Bill. You don't know what you're talking about. This'll work just fine. You know what? You do it your way, you see what happens. Just get out of my way, Bill. We've all heard the saying, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. When it comes to crane operations, rigging can often be that weak link. How we attach a load to a crane can make the difference between a successful lift or an unfortunate accident. Since over 90% of crane-related accidents are the result of human error, we must pay close attention to our work as we rig loads. Poor judgment or overconfidence can lead to serious mistakes. If you aren't careful as a rigger, you could damage the load or the lifting equipment, even injure a coworker. If you get injured, you could face major medical bills and lost wages while you are away from work. If you stay focused, take the proper precautions, and learn how to rig a load safely, you can help prevent crane-related accidents. Click on a topic you want to review. If you do not want to review a topic, press the forward hand to continue. Press the forward hand to begin preparing to rig. At the end of this topic, you should be able to select the proper clothing to wear when working around cranes, and understand why your safety depends on you being physically and mentally prepared to perform your job. When preparing to rig a load, the first step is to make sure you are wearing the appropriate protective clothing. The right clothes and gear can help protect you from cuts, bruises, and other injuries. For example, sleeveless shirts can expose arms to sharp objects and machinery, so shirts with sleeves are the right choice for the job. Tuck in loose or baggy shirts to prevent them from snagging on anything while you are rigging. It's also important to wear leather gloves. They will guard your hands against cuts and bruises while handling slings, crane hooks, and the loads themselves. Safety shoes with steel toes should be worn to protect feet from drop loads and heavy equipment. A hard hat and safety glasses will help protect your head and eyes from lowered hooks or anything that might accidentally fall from a load. Once you're dressed for the job, you need to consider your health and state of mind. Go over a mental checklist before you begin working. Start by asking yourself, am I physically and mentally prepared to do my job? For example, if you are taking medication, you should ask your doctor or pharmacist if it could affect how you work. Some drugs cause drowsiness, dizziness, or lack of coordination, which could cause you to make a mistake. Another question you need to ask is, am I emotionally prepared? When we are angry or upset, we can make hasty decisions which could jeopardize the safety of the people around us. Someone could get hurt, even you.
Safety shoes with steel toes should be worn to protect feet from dropped loads and heavy equipment. Click on a topic you want to review. If you do not want to review a topic, press the forward hand to continue. You will now be given a brief test to see what you have learned. This test consists of three questions. If you answer two or more of the questions correctly, you will advance to the next topic. If you do not, you will automatically review the current topic. Please press the forward hand to take the topic test.